In this video, we'll learn to calculate percentage change, any size increase and decrease, and then work out original value after percentage change. So we'll start with calculating percentage change first. What is percentage change? I've given two examples here. One is an increase and the other is a decrease. So let's suppose that the original price of a coat was 50 pounds or a pair of shoes, whatever you might think of. Then that price goes up to 74 pounds. So what is the percentage change? One thing that I want us to bear in mind is that this is the extra amount. And that extra amount is a percentage of the 50 pounds. So this same amount could have been here at the, at the beginning, anywhere in the middle. So it's taken or considered to be part of the 50 and added on top. So what do I mean by that? This is £24 extra. Because 74 take away 50 gives me 24. So it is 24 extra, which I could have had here, there in the middle or at the end. So it's 24 out of 50 because that's the original amount. That's the 100% amount as well. So we always say 24 out of 50. The difference out of the original. So 24 divided by 50 gives 0 0.48. So what's that as a percentage? It is 48%. So the percentage increase in this case is 48. That's the percentage change as well. So it means the same thing. Now, what's happened is that here we have another scenario. So a pair of shoes costing 50 pounds, then it decreased. It went down to 42 pounds. So it's not 50 anymore, but it's 42. So what is that percentage change? We see it's changed, it's gone down. How much has it gone down by? It's gone by eight pounds. Now eight pounds, we're trying to work out what is this as a percentage of the 50. So 8 out of 50. Always looking at the one that matches 100% or the original value. So 8 out of 50 or 8 divided by 50 gives 0 0.16. So that as a percentage is two digits after the decimal point, 16%. So the percentage change here is 16%. So percentage change, either increase or decrease, is worked out by finding what is the difference between the two values. So that was an increase, 74 pounds. What was the original price? It was 50. So what's the difference between them two? It was 24 out of the original price and that means of course turn it into a decimal because this line here means division so 24 divided by 50 gives us 0 0.48 and that is 48 percent just like 48 pence it'd be notated with a pound sign in front and now we have here a decrease so it went from 50 to 42 what was the change it was eight pounds. So eight out of the original, which was 50, eight over 50 or eight divided by 50 gives us 0 0.16. Again, that means 16%.
Now we'll look at working out the original value after percentage change. So let's suppose we've been given that uh, the new price of a pair of shoes is £74, but we don't know what it was originally. And we are given that there's been an increase by 48%. So we'll need to find what was that original value or the 100% value before the increase. So if we add 48% to the 100 that we had already, 100%, that is going to become in total 148% because there is an increase in there. And that 148% is equal to £74. What we need to know is what was the value at 100%. So what this means is that rather than splitting the number by 100 to get 1%, now we've got to split that 74 by 148 in order to get 1%. Because we've got more of it. We've got 100 and then 48 as well. So in total that is 148. So that's why I'm going to divide 74 by 148 to get 1%. One tiny amount which could be here, could be there, anywhere is the same. It is the same. So 1%. So I'll go 74 divided by 148 gives me 0 0.5. So 1% is 50 pence, in other words. Now, I've got 1%, but what am I interested in? I'm interested in 100%. So then I'm going to multiply 0 0.5 by 100, which gives me 50. So that's given me the 100%, which is this value here. So it is 50 pounds, which is what we started off with anyway. So we've worked it out. Now we'll do the same with the decrease. So let's suppose we know that the new price of a pair of shoes is 42, but what is the what was the original price? So we don't know anything that we've worked out here. We know that there's been a decrease by 16%. So this must be equal to 84%, this point here. 42 must be equal to 84% because we've decreased this by 16% because you'd be given the percentage. If you're not given the original value, you'd be given what percentage is going to buy or down, uh, up or down. So what I, I will do is exactly the same thing that I did there. £42 is 84%. So in order to get 1%, I'll divide this by 84. So that's going to give me one small slice, 1%. So 42 divided by 84 that gives me 0 0.5. So 50 pence is 1%. So 0 0.5 now, I need to work out 100%, so I'm going to multiply it by 100 to give me 50. So that's given me 50 pounds for it. So what we did now was trying to represent the new value. If it's increase, show it as an increase. What is the price? How many percent does it represent? And if it's increased, it's going to be more than 100%. Because the original value is 100%. And then take that new value, divide it by how many percent there are in total. That's what we did. And that gives you 1%. That 1% then scale it up or multiply it by 100 to give you the original value. And exactly the same thing over here. 
we looked at what is the new price, how many percent does that represent? So divided, so new price over the percentage that it represents, and that gave us how much 1% is, and then again, multiplied by 100 to give us the original of the 100% value.